Hello and welcome to the Family Camping Europe YouTube channel. Um, if you're new here, then hit the subscribe button. And if you're not new here, then you'll know that we post regular camping content from campsites across Europe. And today's no different. Today we're staying at quite a basic campsite in the middle of France. And the reason being is one, is weather, and two, because we wanted to check out all our camping equipment because our tent was actually stored in a room in our house which flooded and we didn't know if it was going to get damp or if it was going to be okay and thankfully it's perfect and okay and no signs of damp at all but we wanted to give it a check over and also because we bought quite a bit of new camping equipment and we wanted to try that out and see if we need to buy anything else that would make our camping trips easier. So today's video is going to be about what equipment we have and why we have it and if we think it's any, if it brings any value to our camping trips basically. If you're wondering why I keep looking to the side it's because our toddler is currently cleaning the car with a cloth and a sponge and I just want to check she's okay. <laughs> but anyway, let me show you around what we have. So obviously we have the car that we put all our stuff into. Um, probably need to get a new car actually because it's a big struggle getting everything. Oh, our sponge is getting good, good wheel trim clean there. Nice. Um, anyway, it's a struggle to fit everything in this car, um, so we're probably going to have to upgrade at some point, but that's a long way off. So I'll get started. We have our tent, which is the Scandica Gotland 5. It is a five-man tent apparently, but I think it's perfect really for the three of us. It has just enough space. Um, it's really good. I'll show you inside in a minute, but first I'm going to show you what we've got outdoors. Um, so I picked up this little cooker kitchen cabinet from a charity shop the other day, which cost me four euros. And I think it's fab. Like I bought these to go in it, but it's a great way to store all of our our things. Uh, we've got the bibs and general cutlery, plastic plates. I don't actually want plastic plates. I quite like to invest in something maybe like metal or whatever that's easy to transport that doesn't break. So if you have any suggestions of what we can use that isn't plastic, then let me know in the comments. Um, also, in the next one, I've got my cleaning products. So I've got sponges, I've got some antibac wipes, and I have bought my shark along because it's amazing for cleaning the tent floor. Uh, very, very handy if uh, you wanted a quick handheld uh, and of course matches. Um, I should have bought the igniter, really matches was a really stupid idea. The breeze keeps blowing them out and I've gone through about 20 of them just trying to get one light. Um, then we've got our gas hob. This is the first time we've ever taken like a little gas cooker on our camping trips. From uh, My dad actually bought it from Audi I think for, for us. Um, it's really good, it takes like these little canisters. Um, it hasn't run out yet, we've been here all weekend and we've cooked all our meals on it, which is great. Um, second thing, picnic blanket. Picnic blanket's great because I put all of the toddler's toys on it, which she's not interested in, she's interested in the car instead. And then I got these really cool pegs that you can peg into the floor to hold your picnic mat down. Um, Mike thought it was a useless purchase, but I think it's amazing, so they're good. It's for the beach. Um, they are for the beach mainly, yeah. But we'll use them here. Uh, chairs, so we've got Mike's executive chair. My cheap little camping chair, which is great because it has a cup holder. And then we've got Hattie's little chair, which we actually found out you can peg down like this because she kept falling out of it. Um, and we also use this sacker seat so we can give her um, her meals. Um, so she sits in there, we strap that around her and it's almost like a high chair, but low. And um, yeah, the only thing we're missing out here really is a table that we would quite like to get a little roll-up table because again we don't have much room with the car so a roll-up table is probably our next purchase. And then here, obviously a cool bag. Normally if we're on a big campsite we'll rent the fridge. Um, we take the bag instead of a box because a bag can be like squished right down in the car. Um, yeah, and that's about it for outside. I've got my baby carrier because if we're going on long trips, again, we can't fit a pushchair or anything in the car and she'll get tired legs, so I'll put her in the carrier. 
and it's a lifesaver. But I'm going to take the camera off Mike now and go inside so he can carry on watching Harriet and I'll show you what we've got indoors. Oh yeah, there's a foldable bucket there that we use for either a recycle bin or for washing up. So let's go inside. Okay, so in here, this is our tent. So we've got this torch, which I bought from Amazon, which is actually, that's so bright. It's amazing. And then you've got a nice little warm light there and then a flashy light. And then over here, we've got this light, which we put on in the night so that Hattie has a night light. And we put it on the, the red mode, which you can't really see in daylight, but we put it on that one. It's battery powered. Over here, we have our Outwell wardrobe. Again, this was another charity shop purchase. It cost seven euros in the charity shop. And it's, it's really good just for keeping our clothes off the floor. Like we were storing them all in bags, which just looked messy. It was really inconvenient and horrible. And the whole tent used to look a mess. Um, here's our plug socket. This is a really cool one because we've got the USB plugs here and normal plugs and we can switch it on or whatever. This is amazing. So this is just a standard little Bluetooth speaker, but we've put a memory card in here. And what it has on is, I think, nine hours of white noise. I think, actually, no, that's a lie. It's got 12 hours of white noise and it just repeats as well. Um, and that is so good for getting the baby to sleep. Uh, especially when it's noisy like last night the campsite had karaoke and we put that on and the baby didn't wake up once so it's incredible here is our tent tidy and in our tent tidy we have the usuals like sun cream deodorant mike's deodorant and hair stuff some dry shampoo for me uh, and actually we've started at the moment instead of bringing shampoos and conditioners and things like that we've started using bars so here's our soap bar We've got little testers because we don't want to take like massive bars with us. So we've got tester bars that we bought from That Soap. And then I bought this shampoo bar from Lush. Normally I buy my shampoo bars from uh, That Soap as well. But I wanted to compare really and try a Lush brand one. And then this is a conditioner bar that I've got from That Soap. And they are amazing. Um, if you're really wanting to cut down on your plastic use... They are such a good option and they take up a lot less space than lugging around shampoos, conditioners um, and shower gels. So yeah, that's that. I can't get it back in with one hand. And the next thing that I bought that I want to show you again is another space saver is my deodorant. So I bought a Lush deodorant stick bar or whatever you want to call it. And you just kind of rub this part under your armpit. And it's really good. All weekend, I've, it's not amazing. Um, I haven't noticed any sweaty smells. Um, and again, it's a space saver and a lot better for the environment. So that's that. Let me see if there's anything else in here or shall I show you into the bedrooms? I think I'll show you the bedrooms. So stupidly, I forgot pillows and I also bought the smaller duvet that was a bad idea. I should have bought a massive duvet and pillows, but I didn't. So this is what we've got. We've got this one. So in here, let's take off the sheets and I'll show you what we've got for our bedding. So we have two single Outwell Dreamcatcher self-inflating mattresses. Let's lift that off there. There you go. That's the, uh, the brand, the make that we have. And underneath, we have one of these camp bed air from Decathlon. Now, I'll show you what it looks like. Underneath, it's like this. And also, it's a very good place for storage of tent bags and the bedding bags and anything else, really, that you want to stick underneath. Um, so, yeah, and they join together. And so what Mike and I have done is we've clipped the two together so if we wanted to get a larger self-inflating mattress which I think is another thing that we will do I think we'll get a double because we did keep falling through the middle having two singles together um, then we'll do that but these are incredible they um, fold down really really small and these also fold down really small um, so if you're looking for a bedding option 100% get one of these and of course you need a 
like a foot pump or a hand pump or an electric pump or whatever to fill them up but it doesn't take long and I definitely 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 recommend them then we'll go into the baby's room so in here we've just got a standard play pen really it's actually a square one and we stupidly forgot to bring a bed sheet that would fit so we put some blankets in there for her um, and she's not grown out of it yet fortunately so yeah that's our sleeping solution for her I'm not sure what we'll do when she gets a bit bigger and can actually climb out but for now this is this will do um, sleeping bag obviously we layer her up so usually if it's really warm in the evening we'll just put her in like a vest and then a bit later in the night we'll add another layer and then if it gets really really cold if the temperature drops loads then we'll add more and more layers until we think that she'll be warm enough throughout the night and we also like change her nappy halfway through because we might as well if we're putting ad uh, extra clothes on her so yeah i think that's all our equipment actually the last thing i'm gonna show you is our most recent purchase yesterday which is our electric hookup because we normally just use a lot of campsites in france just accept the standard two pin french plug um but this one didn't it has a three prong so we went and bought a three prong adapter and we didn't bring any scissors to cut the uh, label off so that's our most recent purchase and then if you come over here just want to show another couple of little little things so citronella candles a lot of people say they don't work i think they work really well um but yeah you can decide if they work we've not had any mosquito bites really i've seen a few around pinch them but hello i'm filming and then another thing that we've got recently is that giant tennis ball which i love and i think is really good so yeah anyway that's all our equipment i think um let me know your thoughts if there's anything you think we should add or things that you think we don't actually need and we should just get rid of let me know in the comments below and thank you so much for watching and watch out for a new video thank you very much say bye bye say bye, bye. don't forget to subscribe bye